Is there someone who you think has a crush on you? Or do you think you may have misread the signs? Sometimes it can be difficult to know whether someone is interested in you or not. They might be so subtle with their flirting that you just have no idea. Or they may have been sending you signals all this time, but you just haven't noticed what they're trying to do. Hmm. Well, to help you become more aware of these signs, here are eight phrases someone would say if they're into you. Number one, let's hang out. Are they always asking to spend time with you? It can be overwhelming to hear someone confess their attraction to you, especially if you had no idea that they had any interest at all. So oftentimes, to make sure that they don't blindside you in any way, people who are into you may try to start slow and build a connection by spending time with you, whether it's grabbing a coffee or going for a walk in the park. Spending time together helps you get to know each other more. Plus, the more you spend your time with them, the more you may be able to know whether their flirty behavior is a one-time thing or consistent every time. If it's consistent, then you'll definitely know whether they're into you or not. Number two, knock, knock, who's there? Do they try to make you laugh all the time? Humor can play a huge part in romantic attraction. A study found that the more times a man tried to be funny and the more times a woman laughed at his jokes, the more likely she was romantically interested. Furthermore, they found that couples who laugh together tend to become more interested in each other. So if there is someone in your friend group or colleague at work who's always making a fool of themselves or making really bad jokes to get you to laugh, they may be secretly into you and trying to develop a stronger bond with you. Number three, you look lovely today. Who doesn't like a compliment? Someone who is into you, but who doesn't know how to approach you may start with a compliment since it can make you feel good and be a way to start a conversation. Perhaps they tell you that you have a great sense of humor or say that you're very thoughtful or inspiring. And by making you feel good about yourself, it'll put you in a positive mood and make it more likely for you to engage with them. But remember that compliments alone may not be enough to know whether someone likes you or not. After all, they could be someone who just wants to spread some positivity around. So apart from paying compliments, try to look for other signs as well. Number four, my friend's having a party. Do you wanna join? Have they invited you to their weekly game nights? Sometimes the thought of going out one-on-one -on -one with your crush can be nerve wracking. So an alternative can be to ask them to a group event. By being in an environment where there are other people, it can take the pressure off of both of you and make interactions more easygoing. So if they've been asking you to hang out with their friend group, it may be their way of trying to find an excuse to get to spend some time with you. Once you get to know each other more, you may become more comfortable with the idea of going out on a date one-on-one. -on -one. Number five. Let's go see the movie you mentioned last week. Do they remember all the small details about you? Perhaps you've mentioned a restaurant you've always wanted to go to or talked about a movie that you wanted to see. While you may not think much of what you've said, someone who's into you may remember all these things and make plans to do them with you. Similarly, they may notice and remember the things you've mentioned like your favorite color or your go-to coffee order. All this goes to show how attentive they were when you were talking and how much they wanna make you feel heard, understood, and happy. Does this remind you of anyone? Number six, you said you were having an awful day. What happened? Maybe you've mentioned that you didn't feel well or were having a bad day. Someone who really cares for you and is into you may get worried and check in from time to time to make sure you're okay. If you're already close with them, they may even go out of their way to try to bring you food, medicine, or a pick-me-up just to make you feel better. So if there's someone who gets concerned when you mention that you're not feeling too well and who rushes to your aid every time, then it may be a sign that they see you as something more than just a friend. Number seven, you like the new Spider movie? Me too. Do you have a lot in common with them? Another sign that someone is into you is if they're always bringing up the things that you both enjoy or like. Whether it's your favorite books, movies, music, or cuisine, having similar tastes and things can build up a mutual attraction. So if you find yourself always saying things like, I like that too, or it's the same for me, when they talk about their thoughts, interests, and passions, then it's likely that your fondness of them will increase. After all, birds of a feather flock together. Number eight, do you wanna go out with me? Last but not least, though it's quite obvious, if they ask you out on a date, then they're definitely into you. While most people may try to be subtle with their feelings, being direct is actually the best way forward. This is because sometimes flirting can be hard to identify. Were they flirting with you or just being friendly? Was their compliment because they like you or because they're just being positive? Subtle flirting can be confusing to read and sometimes just unnoticeable. So being direct is always the best way to go. It's more clear and easier to interpret. Is there someone who's into you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and